Okay, friends. Now let us have some questions of simple interesting compound first. Now the very first question. The question is uh, obviously listed below. You can see that. And now uh, we are going to discuss uh, question number one. Okay. Uh, the amount is sixteen thousand eight hundred. Principal. Time period is nine months. You can in years you can write it as nine by twelve. That is three by four year. And obviously rate. X six one by four percent. That will become twenty five by four percent. Now, we have to calculate the yeah, simple interest. So obviously we are going to use the formula P into R into P by hundred. The easiest formula. So it becomes sixteen thousand eight hundred into R. That is twenty five by four into time period three by four and to the base hundred. So this becomes something like this. We are going to solve it. Hundred hundred cancels out, and uh, first we will cut four. It becomes forty two. Now it is forty two into twenty five into three by four. Okay. Now uh, the biggest thing is that uh, we are going to multiply it. This forty two into three. So forty two into three will become three two six. Three to the power one twenty six into twenty five by four. Okay. Now one twenty six into twenty five by four. Just cut this one twenty six by four. You will get four to the twelve, four to the four, thirty one point five. So thirty one point five into twenty five. Now what is thirty one into twenty five? Thirty one into twenty five. Thirty twenty five into thirty seven fifty. So thirty one into twenty five will be seven seventy five. And in this. 0.5 into 25 that is 12.5. We are going to add 12.5. So we are going to get 787.5, and our answer is 787.5. Moving on to our next question. Obviously, you can ask the doubt. It is a simple formula application, so I'm not going to repeat it again. And if you are having a problem, you can rewind the video and see it. Next is question number two. Question number two. It is telling the specific date, March nine, two thousand three to May twenty one, two thousand three. So, from March, from ninth to thirty twenty uh, first. So from ninth to thirty first. Obviously, in March there are thirty one days. Then comes April. April whole month, thirty days, and then comes May. Obviously. We have to calculate it. Take twenty first of May, so twenty one days. Now this nine to thirty one, this nine will not be included <coughs> because from ninth March to thirty first, from ninth March to twenty first of May, so from ninth to thirty first of March, there are basically twenty three days because this nine including and this thirty one including, there are twenty three days. But we are going to count it as twenty two days only because nine to ten, then ten to eleven, then eleven to twelve, then twelve to thirteen, so twenty two days will be there. Here thirty. Here twenty one plus here full thirty days will be there. Here full twenty one days will be there, and obviously here nine to thirty one, nine to ten is one, ten to eleven is one, and so on. It goes on to twenty two. Here also thirty. Here also twenty one. When we are going to add this, we are going to get seventy three days. Now we have to calculate the interest on seventy three days. What is the rate of interest? Rate of interest is seven point five or fifteen by two percent. Rate of interest is fifteen by two percent, and what we have got in time period? Time period is seventy three days or seventy three by three sixty five years. Okay. Now, if you are going to calculate this thing, you will get it as one by five. The seventy three by three sixty five is one by five. You multiply seventy three by five, you will get three sixty five. So obviously, this whole thing becomes a bit easy. Looking at the values, now we have to calculate the simple interest. Obviously, that formula of P into R into T by 100. So I'm direct, directly adding the formula. The um, amount given to me is 1820. So I'm writing it as 1820. Obviously, P R T R is 15 by 2, and T time period is 1 by 5 divided by 105. Three is a 15. Zero zero goes. Two five is a 10. 91. What it becomes? Three one is a three. Three nine is a 27. And below. Five into two ten, it comes out as twenty seven point three zero. 
सो आवर आंसर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री जीरो रुपीज दिस इज अल इंटरेस्ट ऑन सेवेंटी थ्री डेज ऑन अ सम ऑफ वन एट टू जीरो एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन बाई टू परसेंट The important thing to understand here is I will repeat it again. Is this 22? This 9 to 30 means 31 days. Because but if we are starting from 9, then obviously we are going to deposit that money on 9. And if we are going to deposit that money of 9, so 9, the day on which 9 falls, that day interest will not be added. So which day interest will be added? Tenth day. So 9 to 10, one interest. 10 to 11, one interest, and so on it goes on. Therefore, from this 9 to 31, it is not 23 days. It is 22 days. Coming to next. Now uh, it is a very simple thing. A person borrows five thousand for two years at four percent temporary interest. He immediately lends it to another person for six point two five percent per annum for two years. Obviously, the time period is two years only. His gain transaction. So obviously, basically, he is a sort of consultant. He is taking money from someone and he is giving the same money to somebody else. Same what does bank do? Bank also does the same things. Bank take money from the depositors. They put it in a bank. And suppose if they are taking it, taking it with a depositor at suppose ten percent interest rate, then obviously when they are going to lend the same money to their customers, they are going to charge a bit more. That is suppose eleven percent or twelve percent or fourteen percent, fifteen percent, sixteen percent, and that that is how banks earn profit. They take money from their uh, depositors and they lend it to their customers. So obviously there is a cut in between. The person here is doing the same thing. He is taking rupees five thousand at four percent per annum simple interest and lending it at six point two five percent per annum for two years. Now, obviously, the question is profit in transaction per year. So there is no need of two years for us here. We have to just calculate the simple interest difference of one year. Now, the base amount is the same. He is taking five thousand. He is lending five thousand. So obviously, principal is not going to make a problem for me. What is the only problem? Is that he takes at four percent and he lends at six point two five percent. So he's taking at four percent. He's giving it at six point two five percent. What is his cut? His cut is two point two five percent of the base amount. As simple as that. What is the base amount? Rupees five thousand. So basically, he is earning two point two five percent of five thousand for one year. So answer will be simply two point two five percent of five thousand. Let us see what it comes out as. It will comes out at twenty-two point five into five. It is one hundred and twelve point five rupees, and this is the answer. One hundred twelve point five rupees. This is simple answer. It is not a very difficult question. Moving on to our next question. Question number four. Now it is. the same question it is only on simple interest and basically the way of asking the question is a bit different otherwise the question is not very difficult a sum of rupees 12500 sorry how much time will it take for an amount of rupees 450 to yield rupees 81 as interest at 4.5% per annum of simple interest 4.5% per annum of simple interest it is not that difficult first of all we have to find out that As we see that yield as rupees eighty one is as interest and simple interest is there, so first we have to find out that how much eighty one as a percentage is of four fifty. So first we have to find out that what is the percentage of eighty one in four fifty. So we are going to find out like something like this. This is the eighty one upon four fifty multiplying by hundred. Eighty one upon four fifty is the fraction equivalent. I have told you this in the percentages classes, and in order to change it in percentage, I am multiplying it by hundred. Nine nine is eighty one. And fifty to fifty, fifty into two, it comes out as something around eighteen percent. It comes out at something around eighteen percent. So obviously, on his base amount of four hundred and fifty, he is earning eighteen percent simple interest. And as this question is of simple interest, not of compound interest, so obviously for every year, simple interest is going to be constant. Now. As he is saying that he is charging the interest is 4.5 percent per annum. He is charging the interest in 4.5 percent per annum, and in order to get 81 rupees, he had to charge a total of 18 percent. So for first year he is going to charge 4.5 percent. For second year he is going to charge 4.5 percent. For third year 
is going to charge 4.5 percent and for fourth year is going to charge 4.4 percent and if we are going to add this four times we are going to get 18 percent and this 18 percent is the final amount that he is getting because 18 percent of 450 is rupees 81 and 81 is what he has got or he has to get so obviously if he has to get 81 percent is cumulative percentage earning interest earning should be 81 percent and obviously 81 percent at the rate of 4.5 percent per annum is goes on to become 18 percent in four years so obviously your answer is four years so answer is four years because per year it is 4.5 percent so for four years it is 4 into 4.5 it becomes 18 percent now moving on to my next question A sum of rupees 12,500 amounts to 15,500 in 4 years at the rate of simple interest. What is the rate of interest? Again, 12,500 is the principal. It amounts to rupees 15,500 as amount in 4 years. As simple as that. So, what is the change in these 4 years? What is the change in these 4 years? The change is of rupees 3,000. And the point to note here is that this 3000 of change is at 4 years at the rate of simple interest we know that simple interest for every year is constant it is not changing this question will become very difficult when it will be asked in compound interest but it is not compound interest it is simple interest so obviously for 4 years if the amount is rupees 3000 so for 1 year the amount is going to be 3000 by 4 rupees 750 per year so per yearly earning from simple interest of his is 750 so obviously 750 he earns in one year on what base amount on a base amount of 12500 which is the principal so obviously we have to calculate the interest rate now i can simply write it as 750 upon 12500 into 100 but now i'm going to make you understand this thing by a formula we know the formula is p into r into t by 100 is equal to interest what is the interest here interest rate is 750 what is the percent uh, principal here 12500 what is the rate here the rate we have to calculate so i write it as r and what is the time period by okay. so r will be calculated as 750 into 100 upon 12500 you cancel it 25 so 25 25 to the 0 5 6 are 30 6% rate of interest this is your as simple as that you can e directly write it as this also 750 by 12 5 0 0 into 100 this you will get 6 this is your answer initially you can do this method p into r into t upon 100 is equals to interest rate interest was 750 at p we put 12500 rate of interest we have to find out and time period was one year this is equals to sign this is 100 when we are going to sound for it rate of interest we get it as 6 percent So friends, I just hope that this thing is being useful for you now. I am not stopping this 5 questions of mine. In next video, we will see 5 questions more. Thank you for watching the video.